Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, then welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. An update. I know it has been a few months, but to be fair, I felt like it was getting kind of boring and I was uploading kind of the same thing. And so I was like, Mm, do they really want to see that? So I've just been more active in the comments and just trying to answer questions like that because at the time I really didn't feel like I had had much to um, update. I mean, I don't know if you guys want to see more, I'll upload more, but it was just kind of like, mm, I mean, same old, same old. But anywho, I do have some updates for you. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Have I lost any more weight? No. Um... Since stopping Wagovi in April of, oh my God, when 23, April of 22 is when I took my last dose of Wagovi. Um, I've not gained any weight at all. I did lose a few pounds after that, but my weight loss has pretty much stalled out. I will say, however, that I have um, lost some fat. So, I mean, you can call it what you will, but I mean... I'm smaller. I'll put it like that. So I did go by my doctor's office a couple of weeks ago just to do a checkup, see how I was doing. Um, and he noticed too. He's like, hey, your weight is pretty much the same as the last time you were here, you know, but they measured like my neck and waist and things like that. And he's like, but you've lost inches since then. So, you know, that's a good thing. Now, I will say that I am still doing weight training um, and like cardio, walking, treadmill, the rower. Why am I making the rowing? Why am I doing that? I just talk with my hands. I, anyway, uh, and the rower and things like that. So um, I've been trying to steady, steadily maintain. Um, I am eating more calories just because um, I'm more hungrier. <laughs> I mean, duh. <laughs> no, not duh for you, but duh for me. Um, I'm not eating like I was before I started with Govi. I will say that. But like if I go to like Chick-fil-A or something, I still get the kids meal. So, I mean... You know, I'm probably averaging anywhere from 18 to 2,000 calories a day. When I was on Wagovi, it was about 13, 1,500, somewhere around that. So I guess it's more of a maintenance. So I'm not gaining. I'm not losing. I'm just kind of kind of stuck right where I am because I do want to um, lose about another 20 pounds even though I'll be inserting some pictures just along the way because if you saw my um, thumbnail then maybe that's why you clicked on this picture so I'll insert some pictures here and just kind of um, ski something to look like look at because I'm the same way I'm like well, what did you what do you look like from the shoulders down like mm. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll give you something to look at just so it can make the, the video a little bit more interesting. So I will say that I have started having more cravings for um, sugar. And if you know anything, if you just started Wagovi, then maybe you are not there yet. But if you've been taking Wagovi for any any amount of time, then you know that it really kills your cravings for, you know, sugar, salt, certain foods, um, alcohol, things like that. So if you have even an addiction to something, then it, it you know, it really kind of kills that part of the brain. I don't know how it works because I'm not a sciencey person. I feel like that involves math, which <laughs> that's not me. Um, but yeah, it kind of kills that part of your brain that craves things. So I noticed that. And again, I don't know if it's just because I haven't taken, because it's been a while, like it's been a while since April. Uh, but I'm just starting to notice that I am starting to have cravings. So I don't know if that's like stress or I don't know. So, but I did want to mention it because you guys know here I'm very transparent with what I'm going through. Um, and speaking of transparency, you know, body dysmorphia, it is a real thing. So even though, you know, I've dropped some weight and, you know, I've toned and things like that. My core has gotten strong. Like I physically have gotten stronger. Um, sometimes I still don't see myself that way, you know, and I realized that I was doing a lot of negative self-talk. You ever, you know, you try to take a shower, take a bath, and you avoid like looking in the mirror, like I don't even want to see it because, ew, like why are we doing ourselves like that? You know, it's like talk to yourself like you would talk to your spouse or, you know, your child or your best friend or something like that. You know, we should talk to ourselves that way because it's like... 
oh my god look at your stomach oh my god look at this oh my god look at that oh my god look at that view it's like oh my god I wish I could just stop doing that and I am actively working on it so you know just kind of flip that around you know I may have this but man my body is strong I am healthy or I'm getting to where I want to be. I'm on the journey. That's why I would say, you guys, you got this. But, you know, sometimes, and I'm just not going to sit here and be like, oh my God, everything is so great. Oh my God. <laughs> no, because if somebody's on here saying it, like, mm -mm, no, because life gets in the way. Bills, PM, just whatever, just life gets in the way, you know, and in the process of that, you're still trying to focus on yourself. So um, I do know that Wagovi is back in stock for many of you. A friend of mine, you know, she was excited. She's like, hey, they told me I'd come back up my prescription. I was so happy for her. Like, oh my God. I just wish that I was able to get back on it because I did answer that in a previous video. Uh, would I take Wagovi again? Absolutely, yes, even if it's just to stop the hot flashes because it does something with the female hormone. I don't know about males, I don't I don't have that experience, but as far as the female hormones, like it stopped my hot flashes for like months. It just just the roller coaster of the hormones, like it just leveled them out. So even if I never lost another pound, I would take it just for that because like I don't know, Novo Nordic, Novo Nordic. I mean I think I got that right the first time. Look at me go. <laughs> I need to stop. I think I'm crazy here. But anyway, I will take it just for that. Um, I did get word that my insurance may cover it again. I don't know. But if I do take it again, I will definitely let you guys know like right away. Um, but I do want to come on just for, because some of you have just recently found my channel. Um, and you guys have brought some great questions. Um you know, how much it is. And I don't even really have to answer a lot of this because it's answered in the comments. Um, I know they're changing their coupons, I believe. Please don't quote me on that. Because you said, I don't know. I could be wrong. I mean, I'm just some woman on the internet. Like, okay. Um, so insurance uh, may cover it. Again, uh, what else? I talked about the body dysmorphia. Uh, how much have I lost in total? 50, 55 pounds, kind of give or take, because I also noticed that uh, since I've not been on it, like the water weight gain is just, if you see me looking, I'm just trying to make sure I'm still recording. Um, the water weight gain, like with the hormones, it, I'll just go five or six pounds just down all of a sudden because, you know, I'm holding water and I'm really trying to watch like my salt intake. But even if I do that, it's still just like it won't let me be great. It won't let me be great. And it's so frustrating. I'm sure you guys can know what I, you know, know what I mean. It's like you go get a drink, a martini. You want salt or sugar around the rim? Lady, I don't want no salt. I'm trying to do something here. I know I'm drinking martini but still. Okay. Okay, um, what else? I had to make notes, guys, because I be forgetting things. Okay, I talked about that. Um, I am, I'm just trying to get be happy with this new body, guys. Um, you know, I love fashion. You know, I love makeup. I love switching my wigs up and things like that. Um, so I just want to see, you know, what can I bring that's actually going to help the average everyday person? You know, do you guys want to see me dress for different body sizes, body shapes, things like that. I just want to be, um, I'm here on this earth for a purpose and I want to make whatever that is to you, whatever that is, how I'm helping someone else. I want to be able to do that. So again, if you're here, um, you're just looking for weight loss, uh, inspiration, things like that, then I can absolutely do that. You don't want to, you want to know how to dress your body shape for wherever you are. Cause I've been a bunch of different sizes, so I can help you with that too. Um, but yeah, this is a community that we've built here and I really appreciate you guys. Um, the video is not very long, but I did just want to come in and tell you guys that I am doing okay. I do see, um, you guys actively engaged. And I, again, you know, I always say that because some people's comments are like trash and you guys are just, you guys are awesome. I'm not just saying that. I truly mean that. Um, I know I don't always respond because sometimes it's just too many because girl, I gotta work. I gotta get up. I gotta work, 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 work. But you know, it, it, it is, um, it's a process and it's a journey and we've got this. Um, if you're ever in doubt, go back, go back to my videos. I might seem like I'm bipolar because some, some of them, you know, I'm like really up. Some of them I'm really down. I mean, because I'm just showing you like how life happens in real time. Like this is, this is, this is not me putting on. It's like, 
You know, if I don't feel like filming, I'm in a the sunken place. I I can't get in here and do it. But you know, there's days where I feel okay. Like today, I'm feeling okay. You know, I just want to get out and get a message to you guys, tell you guys that I miss you all and that I am doing good. So you know, so, <laughs> a little face beat. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, last time you guys asked about this lipstick, and this is the Maybelline 385 Ruby for me. It's so moisturizing, like it's red, but it feels like chapstick. And I don't know how it works, because again, that's some science and math and stuff involved, I think. But I don't care what your skin tone is. I don't care if you're white, black, Asian, or it doesn't matter. Like, it's going to look good on everybody. I did want to add in there um, to keep drinking. Like, if you're just starting on this journey, make sure you're staying hydrated. Not because it's just good to be hydrated, but every three months, your doctor should be taking um, some blood work to just kind of look at your kidney functions, because we'll go, we can kind of irritate your kidney some. So making sure you're staying hydrated to flush that out, because if they see that it's inflaming your kidneys constantly and it's getting worse, they'll pull you off of it. And so if you're having success, you don't want that to happen. So as always, thank you guys for coming back to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.